Many times in life, things will need time and space to grow and you have to have patience. You need to develop that because in today's age, success is being thrown at us and we're seeing all these people blow up so fast and have all this fast growth and we get to comparing ourselves to them and our patience for relationships and just like life overall is just messed up and things don't develop. What really inspired me to make this video tonight is this bag of food. I was coming from the side hustle and I was thinking about cooking tonight and um, the process would have took about two hours and I didn't like the idea of losing that much time because I could have been filming and editing and things like that. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to call this restaurant because usually my family has already eaten by the time I get in and, you know, things like that. So I pick up the food. Cool. Get home. It's food on the stove. Right. I could have called in. I could have just waited and been more patient and run back out because, you know, it's right there in town. But I didn't you know, I didn't I wasn't patient. Right. A lot of times in life, we are not patient for things like I said, success. And the reason why is because we're too focused on the end goal. You know, we're just trying to rush everything and really not thinking things through. We're not thinking through our plans. Right. So I know a lot of times in relationships. We think things are supposed to go good all the time. You think it's going to be sunshine and rainbows all the time, but it's not, especially if you are the first good person for someone. Um, I was with a girl one time and she had a very traumatic life and I was the first good person in her life. I'm not going to say good person, but good partner, put it like that. And I was one of the most influential people when it came to positivity in her life. So it was a lot for her to handle and I had to be patient. Right. I had to be patient in her accepting those things because I was introducing a whole a whole new world to her. Right. And sometimes I did get impatient and, you know, I would I would not really understand, but I will always come back and I will always apologize and do better. Right. But we don't see it that way sometimes. And like I said, with success, we, we think things are supposed to happen right now, right around right now, because we're so focused and fixated on the end goal. You want to save your mom. You want to stop her from work. You want to buy a house. You want to get a car. But you got to respect the grind because you're distorting your own lens. You got to respect the grind. When you get in the grind, time gets distorted. You lose track of time. You'd be grinding for a year when you really focus. You won't even notice it. And then your growth will be exponential. And if it's not, just keep going. I like to use the um, analogy about plants, and you probably heard this before, but it's a deeper, you know, a deeper meaning. You could look at it. Um, humans are plants. You know, we, we look like plants. We, our veins look like roots, you know, things like that. Our hair grows out just like the way plants do. Like we are literally plants. If you look at the skeleton or vascular system of a plant and look at ours, it looks just the same. Right. Everything in life is connected. But you have things like pine trees that people plant, you know, and they grow very quickly, but they're not as strong or as valuable as something like an oak tree. An oak tree takes a much longer time to grow. So if you're not growing as fast as these pine trees, my guy, you are a oak tree. You are much more valuable. Right. People want to make furniture out of you because you are much more valuable. And then you have something like a bamboo plant. A bamboo plant doesn't break the soil for like five years. And then after it sprouts within, I, I think it can grow up to like two feet a day and like over 90 feet in a span of six weeks. That is you, my friend. If you don't see this fast, crazy growth, just wait. You are more valuable. Your growth, it has a higher ceiling. So they, they got to they gotta tear the ceiling off the building so you can grow through it. And you have to be patient. And you see, I, I could have I just ate this food, but I had to. I had to teach myself, you know, that sometimes things need time and space. Sometimes you need to take the extra out, make the extra call. You need to do those extra things. A lot of times I'm, I'm going to go back to relationships. Sometimes people get into it and this one, is, it really sticks with me. But I remember I got into it with this girl one time and she was like, um, you know, my family is moving, whatever, whatever. And she was like, I asked God because we was going through it, you know, ups and downs. And it wasn't anything crazy. Like she didn't cheat on me. I didn't cheat on her. We just had these little issues going back and forth. And, you know, a lot of it just came from our ideals and just, you know, her life, my life. Just things weren't click. It was just a lot of stress, really. But her family was moving and she was like, I asked God to give me a reason to stay. Show me a reason to stay. And she said, the next day we had the biggest fight we ever had. So I know that I need to go. And to me, I was like, to me, that seemed like a reason to stay. 
Because if it was something worth fighting for, it's here. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, we had a little space after that. And, you know, she dug into like, you know, we had space after the fight and all this and that. But it's like, look, if you have something and you don't want to fight for it, because in, in that exact argument, I was like, I'm here for you. Like you're trying to push me away. I'm literally here for you. You know what I'm saying? And that that was like in the moment of the intensity. But back back to, you know, where I was at. But I was like, um, you know, we had our time and space to get away, think about things. But do you not realize that if we always stay close to each other and we never have these arguments and, you know, we never have these these um, little stepping stones for growth and strength, that one day when we are together, we are going to be so close that when something falls, everything is going to fall. All these dominoes stack so close together. Let's say it's 10 dominoes. They all this close stack together. When one fall, they all fall. But if it's two here and these two fall and there's space in between the time and space we took to work things out, to build things, to grow. Now we hear it, now they're closer together. But the, the thing about the way I see it, on the other side of that space, you get so close that there's no falling. There's structure there. And if y'all shake a little bit, you got strength to help and they got strength to help. And y'all hold each other and y'all are one. Y'all become one. There's no falling apart after that. Y'all become one. But a lot of people are not willing. They're not willing to endure anything to see the other side of that. But I'm telling you, if you stay down and you stay patient, your life will change. I've been getting a lot of comments about, bro, how did you grow so fast on YouTube and all these things? What they didn't see is the amount of videos that I put out that quote unquote fail, right? That's what people would say. I, I call them lessons. They, they don't see the amount of lessons that I have produced over the years. I've been creating content since I was in sixth grade. I used to make GTA videos. I used to make 2K videos. I used to make vlogs. I did pranks. I did challenges. I did all these things from sixth grade to now. All right? What, what are you like? 12 in sixth grade? I'm 20 years old right now. 20 years old. Part of my uh, vocabulary. They didn't see all that though. They saw that somebody came in the game and from September to November had about 400 subscribers. And then at the beginning of December had 2000 subscribers. And now before getting out of the end of December, I have 70,000 followers, subscribers. That's what they see that fast growth. But I learned so many lessons when I came here to start this channel, I, I, I had the plan. And they, did, they also didn't see the fact that I wasn't consistent over those years and I made mistakes and I, I you know, I, I dabbled in a little bit and I did a little bit. I wasn't patient. Why am I not blowing up? I wasn't patient. I didn't respect the grind. You have to see it through. But I didn't do that. But now people see this fast success and everybody want it fast. How to grow abs fast. How to lose weight fast. It's not going to be fast. That's why you keep failing at it. You worried about fast. You worried about the end goal. Get lost in the sauce. You're not going to lose 50 pounds in a day. But keep keep at it for a year. Keep at it for two years. Something going to change. Something going to have to. If you do your job consistently every day, and every week, and every month, and every year, you can't tell me you're not going to grow somewhere. And your job quality changes based off your knowledge too, by the way. You can't just do a... a a half behind job, you know, you can't just BS around for a year and expect yourself to grow, right? You got to do your best and your best changes every day because you are in competition with yourself. You understand what I'm saying? So just be patient. Now, since, you know, I, I endured and I put in work, now I get to enjoy this meal. You can't Skip the grind. But before before I even get to that, now I got to drop one more gem for y'all. Last year in, let's say, November, uh, me and one of my best friends, we were, you know, at school. He, he goes to the LSU. So we were there. We was talking about crypto and stuff. He was invest, investing in crypto. He's invested in crypto and still is invested in crypto. Well, he was telling me about it and I was interested. So I bought some crypto. Um I bought one and at the time it was selling for like $13 per crypto coin or whatever. And uh, we're not going to get into how all that works. I'll explain it. But anyways, I bought it for like $13 and I had bought like $1,300 worth of it. Right. So let's say that's just a hundred of those certain cryptos. 
Well, the crypto market crashed and it was this and this and that going on. And at the time when it was getting real bad, I was also going broke, right? Because I used to have a little side hustle, built me up a bunch of money. Then I took a year off of working. I traveled, I moved around, I did a lot. I invested in myself. I bought cameras, guitars, keyboards. I did a lot of good things. That's why I'm glad I had a good head. I have a good head on my shoulders. Well, at the time I was getting to the end of my funds and most of my money was in crypto. I was like, man, this is bad. I'm not really seeing a return. I'm actually starting to lose money. So I pulled all my money out of crypto, right? Because I didn't want to see my bank account fall under a certain level. And I didn't want to you know, work for somebody at the time. I eventually did and, you know, made my way back to, you know, where I'm at, where I am now. But anyways, I pulled all that money out of crypto. And then a few months later, can you believe that that coin went from $13? It went up a little bit. Then it went down to like $9. Now that thing is being sold for a hundred dollars, I believe, hundred or more, something like that. So if you don't really understand, let's say I gave you, let's say I had ten cars, right, and each one of those cars were worth ten dollars. You bought those ten cars, so you got a hundred dollars worth of cars, okay? And you held on to those cars, those cars, and then ten years later, those cars were worth a hundred dollars. 10 years ago, they were worth 10. 10 years later, they're worth $100. Now, your, your $100 investment is now worth what? You understand what I'm saying? So, yeah, I had to eat that one. That, that one hurt. That one hurt. But it's all about patience, man. You can't skip the grind. You can't rush things. And you just got to always make the best of your situation and do what you got to do. And that's just what it is. So I love y'all, man. Appreciate y'all for watching. You know what I'm saying? Listen to me ramble about not being able to eat my food, but I'm about to enjoy it now. So um, y'all take it easy. Thanks for watching. And I will talk to you soon, my friend.